Well, hello there. Welcome back to Season of Red Chronicle 6, where we left off. Uh, we were going to go somewhere. I haven't seen the recording, nor I have the, nor I have edited the video for that. So, yeah, this is the past. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's just continue with our bullshit. Can we change the hair of our guy? Gia. By the way, Nintendo, thank you for copyrighting my videos. I know you really want the money, and I know you see the potential for my channel to give you a lot, a lot of YouTube money. All of the YouTube money. <laughs> okay, to be fair, it's, it's the game, they can do whatever they want. But it's kind of odd, than you think? I think Nintendo still manage, like, like, I don't know, like, old-timer company style. Now, where the hell do we go? The longer you some of this video, the crucial and the more you fight together, the stronger your bond will be. Hmm. Okay, well. Uh The series and jump. What? Oh. So where do... Well, I'm seeing an exclamation mark on the map, and I guess... Got it! Hey, man. By the way, after this, I have not played the game. I remember I played a little before, but I said, yeah, I should record this when I get the chance. But that was back on November, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's so majestic. And it was clipping to the ground. Surprise! Really? It's only come a long way in the last few weeks. There's still so much to be done. <laughs> like. Yeah, I guess. Speaking of which, we don't really have time for a full pleasure cruise here. Why don't you give us the express to a bit? Just the highlights. Okay, you got it. <clears throat> New LA is divided into four districts. We departed from the industrial district, where Duck and I were conducting the flight test. It has food okay. production, skill development, you know, industry skill. And stuff. Oh, well. It's also where the West Gate is located, remember? Expect to pass through there fairly often. Very the well then. The gate out of the city is in the administrative district. I'm skipping ahead. <clears throat> Next is the commercial district. Restaurants, galleries, cafes, clothing, groceries, you name it. It's a veritable shopping paradise. Okay. The is the closest thing to a downtown we've got. It can actually get pretty crowded sometimes. <clears throat> well, by NLA standards anyway. Day or night, the best and only bargains on the planet. Ah, uh, yeah, how about that? <laughs> right, the residential district. Housing, housing, and more housing. Well, plus a nice park and the cathedral. If you're ever Wait. looking for quiet time alone, or want to relax and unwind with a good book, that's the spot. Right? The park okay. is my favorite place to just zone out and chill. And last but not least, our destination, the administrative district, the nerve center at the heart of NLA. <laughs> what about the ghetto district? We don't talk about that. <laughs> Okay. The lower level there is a hangar complex for scale maintenance and repairs. Oh, well, that's convenient, I guess. And this concludes our tour. <coughs> we will be landing shortly. Thanks. All right. We'll save the rest of orientation for once we're back at the barracks. Oh well, that that was a nice tour of New Los Angeles, New Los Angeles. I don't know however you want to say it. It's 
So anything will do for me. Anything. Boy. Enjoy your stay in the administrative district, and thank you for flying Linley Airlines. Right. Let's get you oh my over God. to the barracks. Then I should file my report. They'll be eager to hear the details on how I found you, I'm sure. Well, then, All right. we better not keep them waiting. The barracks are pretty close, actually. They're set up just behind the giant blade tower here. Oh, well... That road there wraps around the left side and leads right to it. We'll pass through Armory okay. Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? We can check it out later. Fine. I'll hit a bigger gun. I ship and unlock. Bridge and this bridge and discover and it's just this. So where should we go? I might discover a blade tower. And you and you people talk. Oh shit! Yeah, now know we were in hella rich, huh? 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 Um, okay. So, oh. I'm sorry. Look at this guy. What you doing, man? <laughs> you keep supervising that, all right? How do we enter though? I mean, we were we supposed to enter? Oh my god! I'm not paying attention! That road there wraps around the left side and leads right to it. We'll pass through Armory okay. Alley, but let's not get sidetracked, okay? It's true on any planet. Okay. Hey. Huh. Oh, I guess I should be going here. Bad Rex. Oh my god, they are no, they are never going to let me play this game. Can I show you my hair somewhere? And here we are, the Blade Barracks. Consider yourself our guest until we finish getting you registered. Feel free to come and go as you please. I've already stitched a show interest. From that say nothing. Uh I mean Uh Uh I'm so shy. Is there a problem here? Everything Jesus. So you must be the latest rescue. Secretary Nagi. <laughs> wow. Miss Koo. Chipper is always I see. <laughs> What can I say? Pep is my middle name. I ran into what? Doug Barrett on the way here, and he didn't seem quite so upbeat. Anything about today's flight I should know? No. Nothing to worry about. Good. Sure shit. More importantly, Elmer, Damn. you found another one. Excellent work out there. Just doing my job, Mr. Secretary. Now, can I get a raise though? Registering our new citizen here. Why don't we talk inside? There's a lot of ground to cover. It could take some time. Ah, yes, of okay. course. Forgive me. You must be weary from the stasis and your journey back to us. Please, after you. I'll put on Thanks, some. Thanks, man. Show you. Whatever. <laughs> the only YouTube channel playing this game. <laughs> I'm lying. Nah, that was a short scene. Uh, is anything gonna happen anytime Allow soon? Allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Kentaro Nagi. 
You may remember me as Captain of the White Whale, but now I serve as Secretary of Defense here for New L.A. The Provisional Government has charged me with keeping the peace, so all military and police matters fall under my jurisdiction. Very well then. He's also my superior officer. And he'd be an excellent person to talk to when you're ready to start looking for work. What about a That's job nice. right here with Blade? He seems capable. Let's give Sweet. it a little more time. At least until he knows enough to be able to make an informed decision. He seems to be suffering from some form of memory loss. Memory loss? From the stasis? He could barely remember could his be. name. And nothing at all about what happened to Earth or the White Whale. I see. Though, come to think of it, the entire lot the of perfect soldier. planet for what? Two months? It shouldn't take very long to get caught up. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> we crash landed and we sail. Done. Well then, <laughs> where should we begin? When the mirror, information about Blade, about registration, damn, we straight to the phone, guy. But I mean, we know this. I don't know if he knows. No, he doesn't know. But uh, let's ask. Let's ask about Blade. Blade is an acronym. Builders of a legacy after the destruction of Earth. Quite fitting, I think. It's a relatively Quite gloomy new organization. I hear you. Up there in space, we had plenty of provisions, and a crew trained to handle the limited amount of situations we might encounter in our travels. But of course, all that changed after we lost most of our ship and came crashing down here on Mira. We needed food. Water, search and rescue teams, surveyors, police. The list goes on and on. It was too much for the provisional government to manage on its own. So Blade was born. The idea was okay. to have one central organization with different disciplines to fill these various roles. Its core was pulled from the coalition military, so it's mostly former soldiers. Oh, but the military state then. isn't our most important duty. Right now, we have a single top priority that supersedes all others. The search for and recovery of the lifehold. How many people are here anyways? Not as in Blade, where Take as in New LA. <laughs> the White Whale was designed to carry an exceedingly large number of passengers, all of them held in stasis. All huh. housed in a structure called the Lifehold. This is a complete schematic of that facility. Only essential personnel were conscious and active for the journey from Earth. The flight crew, maintenance engineers. And of course, some military so we could defend ourselves if necessary. But the vast majority were in the Lifehold. Are in the Lifehold. With any luck, they're oh. all still there, in stasis, waiting to be rescued. But, okay. there's a problem. We now know the lifehold broke apart along with the rest of the ship when we came down on Mira. Uh oh, What we don't know is exactly problem. where all the pieces landed. Not very comforting, I know. Oh my god, those poor people. Blade's top priority now is locating the missing units. Don't we have radar for these things? Just try to find them? So much for an advanced... Technology super place. Well, might as well ask. It started at the end, two years ago. The end of Earth. Oh. The casualty of a battle between two hyper advanced alien civilizations. Their technology and flashbacks. weapons were beyond our comprehension. We were like infants, naked, powerless. The Earth was reduced to ash. <laughs> and blown away. Literally. I still wonder if I hadn't been there. If maybe all of this could have somehow been avoided. No one can huh? know that, Elma. What we do know is without you, there'd have been no Project Exodus. And no escape for any of us. The whole good is this guy. No. But we are here and we are alive. We survived. The important thing is that we have health. So yes, Project Exodus. 
Once we learned the Earth might be threatened, we needed a plan to preserve all her various life forms. That plan was the Earth Life Colonization Project, otherwise known as Project Exodus. Because calling e ECP could have been misinterpreted. Two years wandering in space. Two hard years. Clown bows. But we clung to our mission find a habitable planet and settle there. We had no idea how long it would take. Or that the decision would eventually be made for us. The Xenoforms found us again and. Well, it wasn't a happy reunion. Earth wasn't enough. It never was. They wanted humanity destroyed. What an asshole. <laughs> for better and for worse, we were close to planet Mira when we lost control of the White Whale. Inertia and gravity took it from there. The ship had taken way too much damage to survive entering the atmosphere intact. We had no choice. We channeled all the power we had left to soft land the habitat. Huh? Hey, was that? Once the dust cleared, we set to work transforming it into its current state. Searching for survivors, establishing Blade, installing the provisional government. Basically, making it a sustainable city. Okay, I think that's all of it. Side. Speaking of which, we don't really have time for a full pleasure cruise here. Consider yourself our guest until we finish. Feel free to come and go as you please. It's certainly come a long way, there's still so much to be done. We'll save the rest for once we're back at the barracks. 